Hi, and welcome to this Google Workspace Admin Tutorial brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. Today, we're going to look at the extension request workflow in Google Workspace. As an admin, you can use the Google Admin Console to let users request the extensions that they need in the Chrome Web Store. Then you can allow, block, or automatically install extensions that users ask for. Setting this up takes a bit of time, and there are a few things to consider. For this workflow, you need to turn on reporting to discover which extensions your users are already using. If users have had the choice to install extensions from the Chrome Web Store, this reporting will allow you to see which ones they are using. Once you have this list of extensions, you can make decisions about which ones you allow and which ones you don't. You can then turn on the ability for users to request extensions. When you do this, users will be restricted to only the extensions that you allow. So you do need to communicate this change to users, especially if they have not had this restriction previously. Once a user requests an extension, admins will see this in the admin console and can allow or block the extension. If you approve the extension, the requesting user will receive a notification and the ability to install the application. If, as the admin, you force install the app, then it will be pushed out to all the users in the selected OU or OUs. If you block an extension, the user will also see a notification. So let's go through the steps to turn on this service and use it. From the Admin Console homepage, go to Devices Chrome Overview. Click Settings and Users and Browsers. Select your top level organizational unit so that all child organizations will inherit this policy. Scroll down to user reporting or use the filter to select the required setting. Set reporting to enable managed browser cloud reporting and click save. You can restart your Chrome browser to check that it picks up the new policy. You should then get a report within a minute of Chrome starting. Once a report gets sent, the rest of the fields in the browser list page will be populated as well as the details page. As new reports come in, these fields update accordingly. Currently, report frequency is set to once a day. Before you proceed to the next step, verify that reports are populated with data. It can take up to 48 hours for data to show up in the reports. There are two ways to get a list of all the extensions that are currently installed on users enrolled Chrome browsers and Chrome OS devices. So you can use the admin console to view app and extension usage details, or you can use the takeout API and create a service account. It's much easier to use the admin console. So that's how we're going to do this. You can still export the list of apps so that you can analyze it in Google Sheets. That's fine. So here we go. From the admin console homepage, go to devices and then Chrome. Click reports and then apps and extensions. You can download the list of apps by clicking export. The file downloaded can be reviewed in Google Sheets to allow you to select which apps you want to allow for your organization. Implementing the extension request workflow requires that you switch to allowing only approved apps. You would base the apps that you allow on those that your users are already familiar with, e.g. those that you discovered in step two when you gathered the list of apps already installed. Not all of these will be required and some may not meet your organization's requirements. So to allow, block or force install apps, go to Devices, Chrome from the Admin Console homepage. Click Apps Extensions, Users and Browsers. To apply the setting to everyone, leave the top OU selected. Otherwise, select a child OU. Select those apps that you want to allow or block from those identified in step two. Click add and the extension icon. Find the app and click select. If prompted, accept the app permissions on behalf of your organization. Remember, you may be able to set policies for a specific Chrome extension. So check out the support article, view and configure apps and extensions. Now we're going to block all extensions that have not been approved. We're going to turn on the allow list for extensions 
and the permission to request extensions at the same time, as these are part of the same option. So from the Admin Console homepage, go to Devices, Chrome, click Apps and Extensions, Users and Browsers. To apply the setting to everyone, leave a top organizational unit selected. Otherwise, select a child OU. On the right, click Additional Settings. Scroll down to Allow Block Mode. Under Chrome Web Store, select Block All Apps, Admin Manages Allow List, the users may request extensions, and click Save. Before you can view and manage user extension requests, make sure you are assigned specific privileges in the Admin Console. In the Admin Console, go to Menu, Account, Admin Roles. Click the link of the role you want to change or create a new one. Click Privileges. Under Admin Console Privileges, scroll to Services, Chrome Management, Settings, and enable the following privileges. Scroll to Manage Browsers and click Read. Scroll to View Reports and check View Extension List Report. Scroll to Manage User Settings and check Manage Application Settings and then click Save. So your users can request extensions and then the admin can process those requests. To request an extension, the user will open the Chrome Web Store. In the left column, they'll click Extensions and then they can browse or search for the extension that's required. When they find the extension they want, they can click Request. Sometimes users might see one of the following buttons instead. So they'll see Pending if they've already requested the extension and are waiting for it to be approved. They'll see Blocked by Admin if the admin has rejected their request. And they'll see Installed if the admin has already force installed the extension. So here the, what a user can do is they can do one of the following. If they're requesting the extension for the first time, they can confirm that they want to send a request to their admin. They can review the types of data that the extension will be able to access, and they can click Send. If a user has already requested the extension, they'll see a message that lets them know that they've already requested it. If the admin has blocked the extension, the user will see a message that lets them know that it's blocked, and then they can click OK. When your admin approves, automatically installs, or blocks the extension you requested, you'll get a Chrome notification letting you know. Now that the user has requested an app, we can view and manage extensions that users have requested on the extension request page. From the Admin Console homepage, go to Devices and Chrome. Click Apps and Extensions, Requests. Click on the row of the extension that you want to set the installation policy for. Set the policy. You can use the following options. You can use force install, that lets the admin automatically install that extension. You can say allow install, lets users install the extension, or you can use block. This prevents users from installing the extension and removes the extension from users that have it already installed. And then once you've done so, you can select the organizational unit that you want to force install, allow install, or block the extension for. And then you can click save. So you can check a user's device to make sure that the policy has been applied correctly. So on a user's device, go to Chrome Policy. Click Reload Policies. Check the Show Policies with No Values set box. For the Cloud Extension Request Enabled Policy, make sure the status is set to OK and the policy value is true. For the Cloud Reporting Enabled Policy, make sure the setting is set to OK and the policy value is true. You can check user's devices to make sure that the requests are being sent. On a user's device, go to Chrome Prefs Internals. Search for Enterprise Reporting. You'll see a list of extension IDs and timestamps. So there are a number of known issues. Newly enrolled browsers and Chrome OS devices can take up to 24 hours to send their requests to the admin console. It's recommended first that you apply settings to a small number of users and devices in the test OU. Then after you have verified that devices are working correctly, you can apply them to your organ to organization. Allowing users to request extensions on their personal devices needs more discussion. Start off by only including users with company owned devices in your test OU. When you complete these steps to turn the feature on, users can only install the extensions that you allow in the apps and extensions list. 
and request the extensions that you approve. All other apps are disabled or blocked. In steps two and three that we've covered, make sure that you approve or automatically install all of the apps that your users need. To manage extension requests for a specific group of users or enrolled Chrome browsers, put the user accounts or browsers in an organizational unit. You can't set installation policies for individual users or browsers. So there you have it. You can now implement extension requests in Google Workspace. I hope you found this video helpful and please drop some comments about what you would like to see in future videos. I'm Charlie Love and this has been a Google Workspace admin tutorial brought to you by Apps Events and Acer.